What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's your Earthmaster here on this Sunday evening, July 3rd, 2022. It's about 8, 12 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Latest quake shows some movement. Looks like a 1.3 earthquake here up into the Alaska region. Somewhat deep at about 61 kilometers below the surface. Looking at the latest map here from the USGS. Showing some activity uh, ramping up down in the Texas area. A couple earthquakes there reaching above the 2.5 threshold just to the west of Pecos, Texas. Out there in the pumping operation fields. A whole bunch of them out there outside of Pecos, Texas. Uh, looks like a two and a couple twos and at least a three pointer over the course of the last 24 hours. Most of the activity activity has been to the western part of the states. Some movement up through Washington. Got a little activity, it looks like, around the Mount St. Helens area. A couple small, very small earthquakes. A little bit of activity here, as mentioned uh, earlier in the update this morning, around the Lake Albanor area, south of Chester. A little 2.2 out there, but overall, things really haven't been too active here in Northern California. Most of the activity just been spotty at best. A little, little looks like a little movement north of the Garlock Fault structure looks like around the white wolf fault zone and the willer ridge out here showing a little bit of small microquake activity also right smack dab on the garlock fault a little 1.0 some movement up here outside of the um, little lake area as well southern california not a whole lot this movement here from uh this morning no recent activity here within the last hour or so things kind of uh just a little on the mellow side currently in the uh, West Coast region. Alaska activity uh, looks like around Anchorage north to Denali has shown some activity. 3.5 up there north of the Alaska range and some spotty movement up around the Fairbanks area. No major quakes to report along the Pacific Ring of Fire today. Things actually kind of calm if you really look at it. I'm sure there's some uh, earthquake activity but nothing above the 4.0 threshold go ahead and double check uh, with the EMSC model. Let me pull up that map here real quick and uh, verify that because it looks awfully quiet. Looks like we had one 4.7. This one uh, occurring, occurring earlier this afternoon. Not Well, it looks like it showed up on the map there. 4.7, yes. Good job, USGS. Uh, some other activity in the 4 range down in the South America region. We've been watching that and I believe they've shown that as well. Uh, one earthquake here in the, uh, looks like the Fiji Islands area south of there into the Kermadec or the Tonga Trench region, 4.8. That one did not show up here on the map from the USGS. Uh, a little spotty activity throughout the Middle East as well, a couple fours. Looks like some aftershock activity around the Iran area. And um, aside from that, no major movement though to report tonight, folks. Kind of just a waiting on things you know maybe the big show will break out tomorrow who knows july 4th goodness not a good day for pets a lot of people have been lighting off early fireworks out here where i live and uh yep even though they're illegal still some people somehow manage to find the ones that go up in the air and uh, make a big boom it's all cool and stuff like that but uh also dangerous at the same time with everything being so dry out here uh, let's see, what do we got? Hawaii. Let's go ahead and check this out here real quick. Uh, nothing unusual. There's a little, our typical swarm here around the uh, Pahala, Hawaii area. And a little scattered movement across Mauna Loa and the Kilauea Volcano. No other activity to report there at the, uh, on the Big Island. Things just kind of calm right now, folks. Go ahead and check out the Trimmer map. Um, looks like 91 epicenters here into the Cascadia subduction zone. 91 epicenters, not that big of a deal. Looks like they've all stopped right about uh, at about 10 o'clock earlier this morning. And that was it. Hmm, kind of odd. Um, so about 91, that's not that big of a deal, but uh, it is slowly creating a little bit of trimmer down here on the southern end of the Cascadia. We'll go ahead and check out the Mount St. Helens map here. And uh, we'll pick out another volcano and see uh, what is up on the seismographs here. 
a yeah, little activity. See that? A couple small little microquakes localized to the seismograph station there at the, uh, the dome of Mount St. Helens. Checking out the previous UTC time. See what we got. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, a little, little active, I would say, here. Last couple hours looks pretty, uh, at least within this UTC date time, at a um, pretty good handful of microquakes at Mount St. Helens. But this area does come and go in terms of swarms. Uh, we'll check out uh, Mount Baker. I don't believe we got anything going on up there. In fact, they only got one. Um, looks like they reported one earthquake, too, on the 2nd. See if this seismograph station here is working properly. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Looks like they are. Um, looks like a little activity here, at least right here, uh, in the Mount Baker area. And we'll see if we can access this previous UTC date, which is our afternoon and morning time for this day. Yeah, see, this is that one that was given off that... Off that uh, error activity just a bunch of noise not for sure what it is it's that is not earthquake activity not volcanic activity and this one here is just unreliable in terms of looking at uh, uh, earthquake activity or any type of movement for that matter let's check out this other other one here around the Mount Baker area and this one's kind of hard to tell some of these stations though they're just uh, out of whack is the word I'm going to use for it. Just not uh, not suitable to monitor activity. This one looks pretty decent. Uh, looks like they're a little... Eh. That doesn't even look like earthquake activity. Not seeing a whole lot of movement here at Mount Baker, folks. Things look pretty quiet on the recorded seismographs. Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming area. Not a whole lot happening up there either. Just kind of entering into a quiet zone, seems like, globally. Space weather. Uh, we do have a coronal hole that's facing us. Let's go ahead and check out that movement. That's going to be this coronal hole up here named 97. Uh, we'll be facing Earth over the next several days. A solar wind stream following from this zone could reach Earth beginning July 5th. So here in a couple days. Looks like a pretty large coronal hole. Uh, these guys, oh, it looks like they have updated it to the uh, a G1 class storm. And that's due to that coronal hole facing us. I uh, got some charged particles heading in our direction. Could provide us with some, uh, a little bit of auroras at the higher latitudes. We'll see how much of a, see how big of a deal it is. Looks like earlier we had a, uh, a little KP index here jump up to the four. I think that was kind of unexpected here. We did have a little rise in some speed here, and also the proton, den uh, the density popped up pretty significantly. Looked like we had a little tilt in the southern uh, interplanetary magnetic field here, which allowed some of that um, plasma to uh, roll in into the Earth area because it kind of amped up there a little bit. That was not expected. Uh, let's see here. Solar sunspots, though, are man, they're pretty wimpy, guys. That's about the about the <laughs> the word I need to use. Wimpy is it? Not a whole lot going on. Sea flare threat only at about thirty-five percent chance, less than one percent for all the others. Pretty minimal right now. All right, guys, we're gonna call it night. I uh, hope everyone has a uh, a beautiful evening and a safe fourth. Probably be shooting out, shooting off some fireworks here at the home front uh, with the kitties, and uh, should be pretty fun. Just got some smoke bomb, smoke balls, and um, a couple piccolo peats and stuff like that, and I uh, got a pretty safe area to light them off. I mean, they're expensive, really super expensive, so it's uh, money's going to go up in smoke literally tomorrow. Either way, we'll talk to you tomorrow morning sometime with the update unless something drastic pops off tonight in the meantime folks enjoy their enjoy your evening out there we'll chat you guys a little bit later stay safe everyone peace out have a good night